This is the birthplace of George Washington, father of our country. While we have little information about George Washington's early years, we can begin to know the man by understanding the society in which he reached maturity, by searching for his roots in a time and place. We're not allowed to ride any bikes along here, but there are some really nice interpretive markers. When Washington was born on February 22, 1732, on a middle-sized plantation manor house along the banks of Pope's Creek, Virginia was becoming one of the most powerful colonies in America. The actual house George Washington was born in burned in 1779. You're looking at the foundation. This is a reproduction of the house that was built in 1923. Three generations of Washingtons and 80 years of planting went into this land before me. My great-grandfather, John Washington, began as a merchant sailor from England. Before he died, he was the master of 10,000 acres and had established the Washingtons as gentlemen in Virginia. Father Augustine inherited his portion of land and continued to add to it in his own right. Everything we could, we made ourselves. I learned to hunt and ride and to talk of the things a gentleman knows in pleasant society. My head was filled with the names of all the best racehorses in the land. I became rather accomplished in catching a loose horse from the woods. We're starting out from the visitor center here in Wakefield. We're going to ride out to other parts of the farm today. Three generations of Washington's forebears are buried here. 